to our kitchen. I'm Gordy Galusha. And I'm Nancy Ostrash. Today we're going to be making chicken and biscuits, nutty apple muffins, and pumpkin pie pudding. We're going to start off with Nancy starting her pumpkin pie pudding. This, I think the things we picked today are some nice fall comfort food. And this pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie pudding uh, is the filling. And I would have think that maybe if you had a cooked pie shell that you could use this as a, a filling but this is going to be just a dish of uh, pudding for you and if you're watching your diet and pies are got too many calories this will um, be uh, something for you to try. You can eat it without feeling guilty. Right. <laughs> so in this saucepan here I've started uh, six tablespoons of sugar and I'm using Splenda and two tablespoons of cornstarch and uh, we're going to add to that one and three quarter cups of a low fat milk and one egg these two get whipped together milk mixture is added to the corn starch and sugar mixture whisk is a good thing to have in your kitchen as utensil because when you're making any kind of sauces and you're cooking them up a whisk will help you keep it from getting lumpy. So this is going to cook for about a minute. Kind of bring it to a boil. Watch, watch your heat so that it doesn't get too high. And then in another bowl, I don't think I'll rinse this one out. I'm going to mix together a half a cup of canned unsweetened pumpkin okay. one teaspoon of I'll vanilla this, Nancy. yeah why don't you okay, thank I'll you stir this. It's starting to get thicken a little bit okay. Of course, all the cooks will, the, on TV will say, use good. Good vanilla. Good vanilla. Mm. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm just going Small amount of salt. Do you use some um, sea salt or do you use kosher salt or regular salt? I've been using uh, kosher salt and I did buy some sea salt to grind and I found that I gotta watch. Gotta watch it. Watch it because it's strong. Salty, yeah. yeah. And then an eighth of a teaspoon or so of nut brown nutmeg. Sure. 
<clears throat> that smells good, that pumpkin mixture. Yeah. It smells this, like pie. This is going to make four uh, servings of the pudding. So how are we doing here? It's um, starting to get thickened a little bit, but not. still got a little ways to go yet. Yeah. What you would do is you bring this to a boil, and then you remove it from the heat, and add the pumpkin mixture. And, uh, I'll do that now, just to save some time. And so you slowly add. You want a spatula, Nancy? Yeah. Okay, you may want to get it all out of there. There you go. The pumpkin. Beginning to smell like fall, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's beginning to feel like yes, fall. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All my neighbors covered their flowers last night. Well, it did get, I think, one of the coldest so far. So far, yes. Yeah. They would have gotten their flowers if they had not covered them up. So we've gotten the pumpkin mixture into the milk and cornstarch and egg. And now we're going to. Uh, cook it for about another three minutes or so. So while we're doing that, I think Gordy, uh, you're able to start something. I will. Um, I will t tell what I have in my pot here. In my pot, I'm going to make uh, chicken and biscuits today. And in my pot, I have two uh, chicken breasts with bone in because it really flavors up the um, gravy. And I have three carrots and three uh, ribs of celery and also two medium um, onions. And you put your vegetables in with your chicken and you cook it until the chicken is tender and the, also the vegetables are tender. This is what it looks like after you have the chicken and all your vegetables in your pot and you cook it until Everything is tender, and it is a very good warm, cold uh, weather dish that you could have. I'm going to turn it up a little bit so it will cook better. Everything is pretty well is pretty well done. I started this early so I would be able to have it done. When the chicken is all um, when the chicken is already cooked and it's nice and tender, you take it out and you put it in a dish like this. Okay, and you cool it off for a little while. I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator for a few minutes so I can um, pull it apart. You can. Put it in the refrigerator for probably about a half an hour and it'll be cold enough to touch. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And back to Nancy. Okay, while this is heating up, and the recipe does this, do not boil it while you're heating it up. Um, I'm going to start my nutty I have cool liquor, stick it up in the apple muffins. Everything's 
set here. Okay, I'll leave it in here for a few minutes. I'll be like Rachel that goes to the refrigerator and pulls out her ingredients. Yeah. She does that all the time, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, in this bowl here, I'm putting in a cup and a half of flour. And what I did, uh, you would normally use um, all-purpose flour, but I, I like to keep uh, some wheat, whole wheat flour on hand. And what I did was a cup of white flour and a half a cup of the whole wheat flour. Now, if you want to be a little more uh, aggressive with the, you can do half and half. Stir this way. Yeah. Nancy, you wouldn't happen to have any milk, would you? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, I forgot the milk. To the flour, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Looks like I could almost get put those into the dessert dishes. This? Yeah. Okay. And a half teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Mix that together. It's getting thick. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. This is what you want it this way, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So why don't I put them in your track mm -hmm. here? Put it in your um, dessert dishes. Yeah. Yes. Do you have any? No, oh, it's okay. Do I have time? Yeah. Nancy, I'm going home and get milk. You can finish, can you? Take a break, Nance. Pudding. Four servings. And these are going to have to chill so you don't have a film on top of your pudding. We're going to cover them with saran wrap. If I had had more time, I would have cut out these nice little circles of maybe wax paper and had them all set to just slip right on the top.
Okay. I'll put these over in the refrigerator. We'll get back to our muffins, which in this bowl here are my dry ingredients. And it's one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And what I did, I added a half a cup of whole wheat flour and a cup of regular white flour. And then I put in one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And then in another bowl, I'm mixing two eggs. One cup of Splenda and two tablespoons. One cup and two tablespoons. And a third of a cup of vegetable oil. Using canola oil. mixture. I've got two cups of diced peeled apples. I'm gonna Also, I think I'll add this to the dry mixture, is one and a half cups of chopped walnuts. And three quarters of a cup of flaked coconut. This is going to make 18 muffins. And now oh, I'm going to put in the apples and sugar egg oil mixture. And mix it all together. Those smell good too, Nancy. Yeah. Don't they? Yep. Mm. Very good. Mm. 
Well, I'm finishing. Are you ready to stir something yes, with I yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't want to watch me fill up 18 muffin cups, so I'll uh, turn it okay. over to Gordy. Okay. Uh, my two pieces of chicken are all, all done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick them apart. My hands are very clean, and I'm going to pick them apart and put all my chicken pieces into my pot here. It's easier to do it this way. still very hot, so be very careful you don't burn yourself. Make sure you take all the bones out if you have chicken with bones in. Okay, I'm going to pick this apart. Put this in here like this. It's very hot, so be very careful that that um, you don't burn yourself. When we had our wood stove, I used to make this on, let it cook all day. Sure, you get all the skin off and bones out. Okay, I've got to set my oven to 450. I'm going to make the biscuits. You can pick this chicken apart faster if it was not as hot. But I'm almost done. That is hot. This is what it looks like when you get all your chicken and your vegetables are together. Then you bring your mixture to a boil. And you make a gravy of flour and water. I have four tablespoons of flour in here and water to mix to make it gravy. As soon as it starts to boil, then I will turn it down and I will put my gravy mixture in here. It's starting to boil now. So I'm going to add my mixture. Make sure it's mixed well. 
Now I'm going to add my mixture right into my chicken. Let it cook for a little while and then it will get thickened. So I'm going to turn down my oven, I mean turn down my burner and let it cook for a little while. How are we doing Nancy? You feeling like getting them all filled up? Oh well, yeah, I'm just about done. This is a kind of a sticky uh, mess. But uh, the when the apples cook down. The apples cook down. Oops. Okay. Need some sticky batter. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper to this. I'm going to let it cook for a little while, and so it will get thickened. And I'm going to put my muffins in at 350. Pretend we have two ovens. for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, and while this is cooking, I am going to make biscuits. In my bowl, I have two cups of flour, three tablespoons of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of salt. I have Almost a cup of milk here. I'm going to put it in here. And I have a third of a cup of shortening. Okay, and I mix these all together. Got to squeeze the milk out of there. <laughs> I use my hands to mix this up. You bring it all together. And you put it on a board like this with a little flour on the bottom. And you kind of spread it around a little bit. And in the meantime, you prepare a pan with a little Pam in it. Then you take a cutter. And you make it cut up biscuits. Take all your pieces and put them together and then you can make another biscuit. Okay, I've got a little bit of dough left, so I'm going to make a little one. And these go into a 450 oven for 15 minutes. 
And that's all for the biscuits. We are going to take a break now, and we'll be back shortly. Welcome back to our table. Our meal has uh, finished cooking. And today we made uh, nutty apple muffins and a pumpkin pie pudding and chicken and dumplings and some nice fall meals. Now, I do have to say that I'm not terribly happy with the way the muffins came out because this time I used Splenda instead of regular sugar. And sometimes we find that uh, the recipes don't turn out as well as we'd like them to, though they are low sugar. And if you're watching your sugar, well, I think they taste good. I th uh, they've been sampled. They just don't look as good as maybe they could. And then the uh, pumpkin pie pudding uh, is topped off with some low fat or no fat whip topping and some wal chopped walnuts. And uh, this, I also use Splenda, and as far as I know, it looks the way it should be, and I've tested that, and the, the flavor is very good. So those two things are what I uh, made. And now, Gordy, your main dish. Okay, I made the main dish today of chicken and biscuits. In my uh, bowl, I have three, uh, uh, two pieces of chicken breast that I uh, cooked and took apart. And I have uh, three carrots and three um, ribs of celery and two medium um, onions and I cooked together. When they were all cooked, I took the chicken all apart and then I made the biscuits. And where are the biscuits, Gordy? The biscuits are in the bowl with the chicken and, gra chicken and gravy. And the biscuits are made out of two cups of sugar, uh, of flour and baking powder and salt and melted shortening and milk. And you serve them um, over your biscuits. You cut your biscuits in half and you can butter them. And then you put them on your plate and you can also maybe, if you wanted to make a double recipe for those, you can have a, a biscuit to eat with it. And if you'd like any of these recipes, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Dalton Community Cable, 151 Park Avenue, Dalton, Mass. And that's all for us today. And thank you for watching, and have a great day.